Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, Tubbs and Crockett bring down a band of yuppie pirates wreaking havoc on the Florida coast in the episode Trust Fund Pirates. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from April 6th to May 3rd, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, in the month between Vice episodes, there's an amazing amount of news. Some events include Hulk Hogan beating King Kong Bundy in WrestleMania 2, Clint Eastwood elected mayor of Carmel, California, and Roger Clemens strikes out 20 Seattle Mariners. There are two stories to emphasize. On April 21st, a two-hour live broadcast titled The Mystery of Al Capone's Vault, hosted by Geraldo Rivera, the special focused on the opening of a secret vault at the Lexington Hotel, formerly owned by Capone, which was hyped to possibly contain lost riches or even dead bodies. The show invited IRS agents and a medical examiner to be on set while the vault was was opened. After all the buildup, it ended up being a dud and completely empty. Unfortunately, this was not the end of Geraldo Rivera's career, but it was one of the most memorable TV moments in the 80s. The biggest news was on April 26, after uncontrolled reactor conditions erupted at the Chernobyl nuclear plant, causing a massive release of radioactive material and, and is one of, if not the worst, nuclear disaster in history. Two people died from the resulting explosion, but the effect is immeasurable as countless thousands of people in the Ukraine, USSR, and Eastern Europe have felt the effects of their radioactive fallout. In music, luckily in this time period, there are two songs at the top of the Hot 100. One is a reason why the 80s was a terrible time for music, but the other is an example of why music was great in the 80s. Rock Me Amadeus from the band Falco would hold the top spot for three weeks, but isn't the song I want to talk about. The song was immensely popular, but in my opinion was just another 80s pop song that only found success in the MTV generation. The song I really want to highlight is Kiss from the amazing Prince and the Revolution. There are songs from the 80s like Rock Me Amadeus that are forgettable and we laugh when we remember them. Then there are songs like Kiss that are timeless classics from one of the most iconic performers and musicians on the planet. We miss you, Prince. In movies, this week's movies are quite an odd collection. First is the Tom Hanks and Shelley Long comedy, The Money Pit. I don't have much to add other than Shelley Long should have stayed at Cheers and we'd all be a lot happier. Next is Ridley Scott's film, Legend, starring Tom Cruise. The dark fantasy film wasn't much of a commercial success, but was nominated for several awards and has quite the cult following. The last film is Jojo Dance Your Life is Calling, the semi-autobiographical film from the life of Richard Pryor, revolving around his struggles with womanizing and drug abuse. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when my advice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show at GoWithTheHeat.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.